Hello, this is Chris from Optinet, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how Flex Forms work. The intention of Flex Forms is to be able to send triage or pre treatment information out to a patient directly through the system. You can do this by using text message or emails. It is worth saying that you do need uh, text messaging and or email functionality set up and in use on your copy of Flex. So to get started, I'm going to log in to Flex. Firstly, we'll see how we need to actually create these messages. Click on to menu and choose setup. Once that's loaded, under communication, you'll see a new section called online forms. You can create your own form here um, by just pressing new and then we can go through and fill it out. So I'm going to call this just training as an example and we can add all the details in here. You can put an image on which would also appear uh, if you were to send this through to the patient. You can put a link on the form. If you don't put anything into this box, as the little tooltip tells us, uh, then it will just display the URL, uh, so the actual uh, unique reference link for the uh, for the form, which the patient can click on through their text message or the email that you send them. Or I'm just going to put our training website on here as an example, flexhelp.co.uk. Let's have a look at what we could actually put on to this form. So here is one where a patient can type their own data in. So um, any problems, concerns, whatever it might be. And the patient will then be able to type their own information in. Looking at these controls, which are global, depending on which one we're using, uh, we can just move these up or down on the, um, on the form itself. And that one there obviously would delete it. We can also add in what's called a combo box. So by default, it's got, for example, yes or no as, as the answers. Um, I'm going to put any headaches, for example. And then they'll be able to choose the answers. If I was to say three um, as the options, I could then type uh, sometimes, on, or you could put temporal, nasal, whatever it might be. We can add those on there. A radio button, this is for a definitive yes or no answer. Uh, I've never known why it's called a radio button. But what we can do here under the question is, again, put in uh, the details here, for example, flashes or floaters. And again, you can, yes or no, it's going to be pretty binary with a radio button, but you could choose your answers there. Or if it was to be able to choose from a selection, um, let me just reword that. I'm going to put, for example, preferred day for appointments. I'm going to put in uh, four options here. And those are going to be, for example, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I shan't go through and type all those now, but you can just see how it, they will actually look on the screen. If you want to keep things separate, there's just quite simply a separator, which you can add in. So if I want to put that on uh, after the clinical information, I can just put a separate line in there. So that's how you can actually create your form. You can then link that in to an email or a text message. Um, these can be sent out automatically. So if you're using appointment reminders or perhaps more useful for this confirmations, uh, then they're able to uh, get this email and or text message straight away with a confirmation or normally perhaps 24 hours beforehand with a reminder. We'll need to link the uh, URL for that form. So the link where it lives online, we'll need to link that in to an email template. So I've just created the email called triage um, for one I did earlier, as it were. Uh, but I'm going to create a new one here called uh, training on forms. So this lives in the patient section, keep everything together. And what we can then do is say, so dear, and these are all of the merge fields. We can give you a hand with merge fields if you need to. But for example, just saying dear Pat first name, let's say dear Chris uh, for me is... and put in all the details so what you'll need to do is link your online form on to here what we have uh, is a new merge field again you'll find more details about this online but it's called online form url you can have a long or a short one so a short one as we often see in uh, emails is just a little bit of a friendlier formatted link whereas the long one uh, would just give the full address if i put patient online form URL long that would just send the patient saying dear Chris here's your online form here's the link many thanks from flex opticians to actually send that through to a patient then 
And you can, of course, put that link into any email confirmations, reminders that you have, etc. On the patient record in question, if we press message, you'll see a new option called online forms and you're able to send a link to the patient. Choose which form you're going to send. So I've got training. Uh, choose which uh, link it's going to be. So again, I've not fully set that one up yet, but on my triage one, there we go. So you can send the link in there. And when you press send, uh, it will go through to send the unique online form link to the patient. Just like appointment reminders and confirmations, those will go every 15 minutes. And you do, of course, need email and or text messaging set up on your system and the patient happy to uh, receive them. So I've not put a mobile phone on this one as an example, just to show you that SMS wouldn't be available. You can, of course, link those into um, your appointment confirmations and reminders as well could be a useful thing to do uh, when you email a receipt to a patient just to get a quick questionnaire to see how you've done today and is there anything else you could do to help them. Regarding the submissions you've had, if you press menu and choose view submissions, you'll see all of the ones which have come through uh, on the list. You can double click to open them up and view the answers. Uh, and again, you'll see an example of one that's been done on our website. Alternatively, you can just right click delete uh, to be able to get rid of them. So that's a quick overview of how the new Flex form functionality works. Like I said, plenty more help online, flexhelp.co.uk. And the best of luck with implementing these in your practice.